Strictly star Giovanni Panici shows his support as Rose Ailing Ellis debuts shock transformation. Dan Walker reaches out to driver in the hope horror crash can be resolved outside court. Strictly's Jeanette Manrara in bittersweet move as she quits London days after baby news. Ola and James Jordan reveal daughter Ella's health struggle as they go for medical tests. Stacey Dooley shares sweet rare snap of newborn daughter as they enjoy breakaway. Hello and a very warm welcome to the channel. Before we start the video, please leave a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Strictly pro Giovanni Panici has reacted to former partner Rose Ailing Ellis' shock new look after she showed off her transformation on Instagram. The two share a close bond, having won the nation's hearts in 2021 as well as the prestigious Glitter Ball Trophy. Since then, Giovanni and Rose's relationship has gone from strength to strength. And earlier this week, the two were at it again, proving that their friendship is unbreakable when Rose debuted a brand new look. Taking to her social media account, Rose looked incredible as she channeled her inner 1970s supermodel. The Strictly champ rocked a pair of pink velvet flares, a printed top and sky-high pink platform heels to round off the look. For accessories, she opted for hoot earrings and a pair of huge yellow sunglasses. Beaming to the camera and her thousands of followers, Rose wore her fresh out the salon locks in bouncy waves. I can't get over Ricky Walters' awesome work on my hair, she gushed in the caption. Rose added, I think I will never get bored of 70s fashion, but I don't think we'd be wearing pink velvet flared trousers anytime soon. What fashion trends have you followed that now make you cringe? Mine is blue mascara and straightening my side fringe into an A4 sheet. It's safe to say Rose's new look went down a treat with fans, with the gorgeous snap racking up thousands of likes and comments. So much so that Giovanni, who won at BFTA with Rose for their silence dance, also double-tapped his former Strictly partner's selfie. What's more, it didn't take long for Rose's loyal Legion fans to flood the comments section too with compliments. 70 suits you, proclaimed one smitten follower. Another person added, you look beautiful in anything you wear, love the hair. Unreal, a third simply penned, while a fourth gushed, looking fabulous. Fans hoping for Rose and Giovanni to make things official might be disappointed. Dan Walker wants to speak to the driver who knocked him off his bike in the hope they can keep the horror crash out of the courts. The broadcaster revealed he nearly died in the collision on a Sheffield roundabout on Monday, February 20. Thankfully, he was wearing a helmet, but a week on he still has no memory of the accident. His injuries include cuts to his face, a bloodied nose, and he can't currently use his left hand. But the Five News presenter, who has been recovering at home, plans to go back to work next week if the swelling and bruising has gone down. The 45-year-old broadcaster thanked the driver who knocked him down for staying around after the crash. Although details of the crash aren't clear in his mind, Dan does remember seeing the driver looking deeply distressed. Reaching out, he wrote in his column for the Times, I can't imagine what they are going through, and if you're reading this, I'm going to be oak. Dan added he imagines the incident is all they are thinking about, saying it could have changed the driver's life forever. Police are still investigating, but after asking a friend to watch the dash cam footage, as he didn't want to trigger memories watching it himself, Dan is confident he didn't cause the crash. Dan has asked police if he can speak to the driver and promise to keep his fans updated. He said, I am confident that I am not to blame and hope this can be resolved outside the courts. I know I could have died, but I also know how easy it is to make a mistake, even when you're trying to be very careful. The newsreader is unable to go into any more detail about the crash at the minute because police are still to publish their report. Miraculously, Dan didn't break any bones in the smash, which happened on an NHS strike day. The former Strictly star Janetta Manrara was feeling bittersweet as she revealed she will soon embark on a new chapter just days after her pregnancy announcement. 
The Strictly It Takes Two presenter has since revealed she has more news to share as she and her beau are moving out of London. Taking to Instagram, Jeanette shared a photo while on a train as she opened up about the bittersweet moment. She wrote, Officially leaving London today. What a bittersweet feeling. So many years of magical memories in a magical city. But a fresh start for a new and exciting chapter in our lives calls, and we cannot wait. The couple left their flat in London this week and relocated to Cheshire, where Gorka Marquez and his wife Gemma Atkinson live nearby and are expecting their second baby. It will be so nice to have Uncle Gorka and Auntie Gemma nearby, Jeanette told Hello Magazine. Gemma and I share the same birthday, so I can't wait to tell her that we'll be having a baby together too. Taking to her stories yesterday, the on-screen star addressed the couple's move. Jeanette began, Hi everyone. Just wanted to come on and say thank you so much for all of your lovely messages on our pregnancy announcement. We are beyond excited and feel so grateful that we have a little miracle. She went on, I've had a busy few days considering. It was Ali Ash's birthday. We announced our amazing news with everyone and we were packing up the house and getting ready to move. And it was Julian McDonald's fashion show last night. Today, I had to be up super early and I spent the whole day working and just got back to my hotel room now. A couple of minutes ago, really. I'm slowly going through all of the messages, but I just feel so overwhelmed with joy. Ola and James Jordan have opened up about their daughter Ella's health struggle. Over the most few months, the youngster has struggled to hear properly, so the pair took her to get some tests done. James and Ola reveal the results in their latest Hello column. James said, The test showed her left ear isn't anything to worry about. Her right ear definitely has glue ear. They don't want to put grommets in at the moment, so they're going to check her again in about three months and see how it is. According to the NHS website, glue ear is an empty middle part of the ear canal, fills up with fluid. Stacey Dooley has shared a selfie of herself cradling her newborn daughter Minnie, with it having been taken whilst they were visiting Kevin Clifton on tour recently. Stacy has shared updates on Instagram since, including having taken to the platform yesterday to post a photo that she had taken of herself cradling daughter Minnie. She wrote alongside the selfie, too QT to not make the grid. Stacy accompanied the caption with a bow emoji. Fans took to the comments to react, with some describing the photo as adorable and cute. Others took the opportunity to congratulate Stacy over the recent arrival. Stacy tagged country hotel chain The Pig Hotel in the post. It's understood that she stayed at one of its hotel whilst visiting partner Kevin, who is on tour at the moment. Stacy wrote about visiting Kevin in posts on her Instagram story, including sharing a photo from inside the hotel. She praised the business in the accompanying caption. Alongside a photo of what appeared to be a dining area, the presenter wrote, Impeccable service. She continued by commenting, can't thank the staff enough. She later shared the selfie of herself and Minnie, which also appeared on her page itself. She wrote alongside it on her Instagram story, we came to stay with daddy. <laughs>